Welcome back. Thanks for choosing Newsroom Africa. Let's bring you this now. Springbok Lok Ivan Etzebet made his international debut in June 2012 in Durban, the city where he now plays his club rugby with the Sharks. Since then, Etzebet has won two Rugby World Cups, become a father, lost his own father to cancer, and played 119 test matches for South Africa. As rugby fans eagerly anticipate the start of the international season, which gets underway in June, I chatted to him about some of the highs and lows of the last year, including how he bounced back after he lost his dad in July last year ahead of the rugby championship. It's a professional sport, and uh, once you once you go out on the field, uh, people people expect you to perform. Um, people don't always know what what guys are going through in the team or. Um, we always say your personal issues can't um, come into the field of the teams. Uh, teams, how you call it, the goals and what they want to accomplish. So as soon as you run out on the field and every training day, whatever you have in your personal life, that's that's between you and you or you and your family. Um, but we professional athletes, we, we need to perform. Uh, that's what we get judged on. Um, that's why we will go to a World Cup to, to perform and, and try to defend the World Cup and no one is going to say if this guy's mom was sick or this guy's brother was ill and this guy's baby was, was in hospital. Uh, it sounds it sounds tough, uh, but that, that's the reality of, of um, the sport and the, and the life sportsmen have. Um, you, you get judged for that 80 minutes. Uh, that's rugby. For, for soccer, it's 90 minutes. For a tennis game, it's however long it lasts. But you get judged, and, and, and that's that's the bottom line. So... We, I mean, that's, it's not just me, there's other guys who also want to win through, through difficult times. We all heard about a story about Dion Fourier as well. Um, I mean, he was, he's a true professional. I think a lot of the guys didn't even know about it and how he carried himself, um, through the training week and, and into the game. It's, um, like I said, it's a professional environment and, and guys, um, yeah, guys know how to handle themselves. Yeah. Um, in light of the year that you've had, uh, does that make winning the SA Rugby Player of the Year uh, just a couple of weeks ago, does that make it a little bit more special, having been able to to do that in light of everything that you've had to go through? Yeah, I think um, the World Cup was, was by far uh, good enough. I think uh, 2023 was never, I think anyone in that team would never, were, were even thinking of individual awards. Uh, so, it's nice and it's it's a bonus and, and it's great to win an award like that. But um, the 2023 main goal was was to win the World Cup, to go out to France and defend the World Cup, and and we did that. And yeah, everything else is a bonus. Uh, I think we 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 play in a team sport, and as long as the team does well and the team wins trophy, that's at the end of the day what what we're striving for. I remember speaking to you at the World Rugby Award and uh, I was really shocked at uh, what happened uh, and you kind of just politely smiled and said, well, you know, that's that, that's how it goes and sometimes, you know, we, we play this game actually not to win individual awards but to win team awards. Uh, how do you feel about having not been recognised by World Rugby um, after the Rugby World Cup now a couple of months later? Yeah, I, I must. Uh, I feel a bit more. Um, I don't know what exact word to use, but let's call it agitated that that some of my teammates wasn't wasn't rewarded. I think um, you look at at that World 15. I mean, it's it's uh, that doesn't make sense if you win the World Cup and and one guy is in the in the Dream 15. Um, so that that was quite a quite a I don't know. Like I said, I don't know exact words. I don't want to use the wrong words now, but that was, um, I think, just wrong. I think there were so many standout guys who, I mean, you, you don't win the World Cup if you at least have about, at least four guys who's the best in the position in the world. Um, so that, that was quite a shock, and, and that's the thing. Um, I think Audi had an unbelievable season, and he's a phenomenal player, and, and so is Bundy and Anton Dupont. Um, so I think it could have gone either way there, uh, but I mean for us not to have more uh, guys plays at, at World 15, that was a bit of a shock. Um, and um, yeah, I must say that was a bit of a shock.
Yeah. Uh, what do you say to all the criticism that, unfortunately, the Springboks have had to kind of manage and deal with about the kind of brand of rugby that that you play? Because, um, unfortunately, uh, you know, as rugby fans and as you guys obviously feel it a lot more because you're playing the game, um, have to hear from fans around the world about the kind of brand that South Africa plays. Yeah, we we don't really we don't say a lot. I think. Um, and we, we don't want to sound arrogant or or anything like that. But I mean, we we, we won the World Cup, and and that's I mean that speaks for itself. Uh, I think any team would would play any way that suits them. Um, doesn't matter how ugly or how pretty it is. If it's running up or you kick every ball away, if, if someone tells you you're going to win the World Cup, you play that way. Um, I think any team in the world would do that. And um, our goal was to not go and play the most attractive rugby or to be the most entertaining team with offloads and stuff, uh, our goal was to go in the in the World Cup, and and yeah, we we got we got got to do that. Uh, it was it was close, uh, but yeah, we we got to do that, and and that's why we'll never uh, listen too much about uh, the critics that that gives us um, issues in 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 the social media and public and stuff because we know what we did was the right thing because we retained the cup. Uh, we've got a, a, a test series that's coming up that is so eagerly anticipated. Uh, it's an international season that fans cannot wait to, for it to actually get underway. If you just look at how quickly all the tickets got sold out um, for the different test matches around the country, what can we expect uh, for the Irish series? And uh, do you believe that South Africa has what it takes to to actually win that series and both matches? Um, yeah, well, first of all, we've got Wales uh, in England, so it will be a big focus when we get together. And then, obviously, Ireland, two test matches against them and, and one against Portugal. Uh, I think the Irish one, um, <laughs> I think people is building it up. Uh, probably not so much us and, and Ireland themselves, uh, but I think the whole rugby public is building it up to be um, Six Nations champs against world champs. Um, Look, it's going to be a phenomenal test match or two test matches, and I know both teams um, yeah, they, they want to win desperately. Uh, we obviously, uh, after being crowned world champs, we want to go on and perform obviously well this year and and keep continuity. And um, for Ireland, I mean, they they will be hurting still from the World Cup, and, and they would want to prove uh, want to prove a point against um, the world champs. So um, it's going to be yeah, it's going to be a tough series. Um, there's no guarantees. Uh, it's, it's a test match of two world-class teams going up against each other, and yeah, the, the best team on the day will 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 get the result. And yeah, hopefully in both games that will be the Springboks. Yeah, when you've been with the team for so many years and you've really been through the highs and the lows, the historic highs and then also the historic lows of 57 nils against uh, the All Blacks, uh, you know what it's like to win, but you also know what it's like and what the reaction is like when the Springboks lose. And the thing with sports is that you always on either side, you're either winning or you're you're losing and that is how sport goes. Sometimes you're going to win and sometimes you're going to lose. It does go through cycles. How do you think the how, how do you think the team and the public, I suppose, will will deal with when the team does maybe have some some losses and it's good, like goes through a little bit of a difficult period, a period of transition uh, as we lose a lot of the you know the the older guys um, and uh, the new crop of youngsters starts to come through. Yeah, to be honest, <laughs> no one has time for losers. Uh, if you if you lose, you unfortunately um, people don't really want to support you. They don't uh, want to be associated with losers, and I mean, no, no one um, blames them. You want to be a part of a, you want to live in a country where that country is doing well. Um, if rugby is almost like a religion in South Africa, then um, the people in South Africa want that that team of theirs to do well. And unfortunately, when a team is losing, people lose lose faith in that team, and and they. Um, they say nasty things, and it's understandable uh, because um, we live in a performance environment. And the, unfortunately, the only, or fortunately, or uh, whatever you, how you see it, uh, but the only way you get jazz is whether you win 
the game. It doesn't matter how hard you train during the week or what you do off the field. Uh, you can judge on your performance on the field and if you win or lose. So, um, obviously, you can't win them all, but we surely want to win them all, and we'll try our best to win win all of the games. Uh, as long as we keep on winning more than we're losing. Uh, but, yeah, we'll keep on fighting. And like I said, it's now after 2019. It was great to be world champs. And then we got back and it was COVID and we couldn't real, really play after the World Cup. I think our first home game was only in 2022 after the 2019 World Cup uh, with, with fans, of course. Uh, so it's massive, massive thing in South Africa. Uh, fresh out of the World Cup, world champs. And now they get to see us on home as well. So, yeah. They, oh, I know the whole South African public will expect us to win and they, they want us to put in big performances. And Stephen, that's how we come to the end of your sport for this hour. I'll have more sports and more interviews on Music One.